Let's create a new slideshow project from scratch. Add photos to the storyboard. You can change their order. Stretch the photos to fill the frame and remove black bars. In Project Settings, you can change the slide and transition duration, background color, and other settings. While the Add tab is active, you can add photos, collages, subtitles, title clips. Collages are animated slide templates for several photos. Preview any template. Add to slideshow. Select the photos for the collage. Preview the result. You can also add subtitles. These are slide templates with text. Title clips are one more type of slide templates designed to serve as intro or final slides. There are animated, illuminated, and static title clips. Let's try one of the illuminated templates. These templates use various kinds of glow effects. Right-click and select Move to Start if you need an intro slide. Click Edit Slide to type your own caption. Find the necessary text layer on the list of slide layers and switch to the Layer tab to replace the default text with your own. You can change the text font, size, color, add outline, shadow, and even reflection. It's also possible to change the glow effect settings, its color for example. Preview the slide and click Save. Once you've added the slides, open the Animation tab. You can apply motion, 3D effects, nature, and complex effects. Effects can be applied with drag and drop. Some effects combine motion and color play. Among 3D effects, you'll find all kinds of flips, rotations, as well as spectacular photo film effects. Nature effects include snow, falling leaves, burning fire, haze, etc. Complex effects are made up of several types of effects combined. For example, rotation, zoom, and old film. Now let's open the Transitions tab. There are Standard, 3D, Gradient, and Double Transition groups. Click on the Transition thumbnail between the slides to preview the current effect.
Preview any effect from the gallery with a single click. Apply the chosen effect with a double click or with drag and drop. In the Music tab, there are separate sections for music and for voice comments. Both audio tracks are also found in the Timeline. It's convenient to work with music and comments directly in the Timeline. For example, add a microphone recording. Record a voice comment and click Add to Slideshow. The recording will appear in the second audio track. Add another one. The number of music files and comments is unlimited. Place each recording exactly where it should be. In Volume and Faders, Adjust the volume of the background music and the comments, and apply fade in and fade out effects if you wish. There is also a built-in tool for cutting audio tracks. Click on the red scissors icon to cut the selected track. It's also possible to synchronize the slideshow duration with the music. When you're done, go and create the video.